Slutty babysitter. I don't want her leaving me for a better job. No, I have a lovely babysitter. <laughs> Johnny, have you sneezed on your jumper? Don't be. <laughs> I did not want to interrupt the conversation over there, so I was going, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I was doing such an half sneeze. <laughs> You've never not wanted to interrupt a conversation in your I life. <laughs> I got a sneezing fit. I apologise. I just was turning around going, Ugh. <laughs> not trying to make a noise. Uh, Anna, yeah. starting a new job. What, what, what's... No, hang on. I had a sneezing fit. <laughs> I had a genuine sneezing fit. I was turning around, trying to sneeze quietly. I did it more on the left. The right is still quite heavily congested. <laughs> but, but there's nothing I can do about that. I don't know why it came on. <laughs> Just wanted to be part of the team. <laughs> Anna. Yes. Anna. It's all right. I'll take me in the t-shirt and blow me <laughs> fucking nose. No, don't. Oh! 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 <laughs> well, that must be. You've now got some sort of chest oyster. No, it's all right. I'm back in the game. Okay. So, what's, uh, what's the nation's favourite thing about the festive season? Sean, Lisa. Uh, is it Christmas Day? You know, the meal, Christmas Day, just all the whole thing around the whole day of Christmas, the, dis the day of Christmas. <laughs> I like to get up, have the traditional Christmas, you know, the aubergines. <laughs> grilled aubergines with the halloumi. <laughs> then you go for your Christmas haircut. <laughs> then you go and float your Christmas barge <laughs> with all the traditional you know, li licorice, the sweets, the blue cheese. Push that out in the park. <laughs> then go and put the baked potatoes on. And then we always play that. Could you ever play uh, uh, Spudge You Live? Spudge You Live at Christmas? Oh, Spudge You Live? Yeah, well, yeah. you get an, an atlas and you get your baked potato and you work out which country your baked potato resembles most. <laughs> you never play that. It's good with Ireland, because Ireland looks quite baked potato -y. <laughs> so you, get, so you get an atlas, you get your potato... Open up, potato. You play, what, do you, what do you do with the potato? You, you just potato. Which, you which just country? eat the potato while you're eating it. You have beans and everything. Beans? What do you do? Like, you have a potato, you open it up, you, you, like, eat Is it. Is this show going on, or has someone just fed me LSD? <laughs> <laughs> you can look inside the box. Have you looked? Have you seen? Yeah. OK. You now have to convince John to swap his box if you think he has the carrot, or keep your box. It's a game of bluff. The winner yeah. is the one with the carrot. Oh, I, I'm, I'll, I'll keep this. <laughs> Do you want to swap or not? I mean, he seems confident there's a carrot in there. He's seen the floor in this Jimmy's game. Jimmy's ploughing on. <laughs> what do you mean, Jimmy's ploughing on? It's one shot. Is your band, James? I was in a band called Pin Drop. <laughs> we had a singer uh, called, called Lloyd, and he sang real nice, beautiful vocals in band practice. And then we had a, our first gig, and he was like, uh, you go on before me, and then I'll come on later on. And we're playing the song, and we don't know where he is, and then he jumped on stage in a dress, which he hadn't warned us about. <laughs> and then he just shouted, did shouty, horrible shouty vocals for the whole gig. And then afterwards, we were like, Lloyd, that was not the plan. And he, and he was real <laughs> mature about it. And he just kind of went, guys, I'm so sorry. Honestly, I don't know what came over me. <laughs> it won't happen again. <laughs> and then we had another gig. <laughs> And we get down, Lloyd says to me, you guys go on. <laughs> you start playing and I'll come on later. I was like, OK, we'll do that, Lloyd. But remember what happened? He went, man, I feel so bad about that last night. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Honestly, I feel like an idiot. I don't know what like. <laughs> I was like, good. And we're playing. And then he ran on in the dress again. And we're like, well, we didn't really tell him not to do that, so that's kind of OK. And then he shouted, but not just shouting for the whole gig. He kept on jumping up in the air, and every time he landed, it flipped the audience off like that. <laughs> and we said to him afterwards, Lloyd. <laughs> <laughs> we made it real clear not to do that, and you did it again. And he, he was like, listen, guys. <laughs> I owe you guys an apology. From the bottom of my heart, I'm sorry about that. 
<laughs> at next week's gig, I'm absolutely 100% not going to do that again. <laughs> <laughs> then we had a third gig. <laughs> and Lloyd went to me, you guys start playing with that. <laughs> and then I'll come on later. And I was like, Lloyd, I'm going to say this very clearly to you. <laughs> if you shout again, you are out of this band for good, I swear to God. <laughs> and then we're playing the intro. And then he runs through the audience. It was a, a, even more of a rogue move, even for Lloyd. <laughs> he bought a different dress this time, but fair play. Hadn't, hadn't mentioned the dress. <laughs> and he also, I noticed, as he was what, running towards us, had, had drawn a dick on his forehead. <laughs> and I thought to myself, that is a bad sign. <laughs> And then he got the mic and he screamed, this, not shouting, horrible screaming. <laughs> and then halfway through the gig, he took his dress off, it's just in these tighty whities and he'd, someone had written, Susie was here across his chest with an <laughs> arrow pointing down to his real dick. <laughs> and then after the gig... <laughs> Lloyd... <laughs> we have made this very clear. You're not allowed to shout anymore. And he went, hold on a second, guys, hold on a second. And then he walked over, walked outside, and then some boys turned up on a bicycle, <laughs> And all we saw through the glass was they talked to him and he, he nodded to them and we heard him say, I'm in a band called Pendrop. He got halfway through Pendrop and one of them nutted him and cycled away. <laughs> and then we couldn't kick him out of the band because we felt sorry for him. And he's still in the band to this day. <laughs> Is Sean Coffey, does he ever carry these bumps? <laughs> It's a real quandary for me, Jimmy, this. Well, he can choose them. Yeah, box. he's allowed to yeah. swap if he wants no, to swap. Can't, but can't I just keep my box? <laughs> no, he can swap if he wants well, to swap. I can swap. refuse to swap it. No. <laughs> you can't make somebody swap something they want to swap it. <laughs> It's have you never real... played Carrot in a Box before? You never... <laughs> have you never seen the show? I must it's have been on holiday. Time. I must have been on holiday that it's... week. It was allowed out. Do you want to keep your box or swap your box? I can keep this or I can have the box that's definitely got a carrot. <laughs> yes. I want Sean's box. OK, we'll grab Sean's box. Sean, let go of the box. Right. It's the nature of the game. <laughs> it's the nature of the game. Can I just say, at this point, if there's no carrot in that box, you are a genius. <laughs> Let's swap boxes, swap boxes. Am I allowed to have my box back? Is there another round where I get to have the box with the carrot in back? <laughs> I, I'm going to be level with you, fellas. We've never played this game before. <laughs> we do not know how it ends. OK, so, John, you're now allowed to look in your box. Right. And, and I believe you can reveal... Point it the other way. Does it contain a carrot or not? Sit down now and think about what we've done. <laughs> 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 the most annoying thing people do on public transport. Is it old people? It's old people being on public transport. <laughs> right, I hate that. Stay in. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know the answer to this before I ask Joe, but do you, do you talk to people you don't know on public transport? Yeah, that's what really annoys me. People say you always meet weirdos on public transport. <laughs> <laughs> I've never met one. <laughs> I talk to everyone. <laughs> the other day, I was talking to this girl and it was going, it was going very well. We were chatting, it was lovely. We hadn't made eye contact yet, but that will happen. <laughs> Then I downed a jar of Lloyd Grossman's Boona curry sauce. <laughs> <laughs> and... Oh. and she got all weird. I'm like, oh, fuck <laughs> off, lad. <laughs> <Hey. laughs> Do they sell that on the trolley? Lloyd Grossman's no, Boona I just, curry sauce. No, I usually have a load in my bag. <laughs> What's in that bag? I always make a packed lunch if I'm on this show. It's just a uh, bottle of taboo <laughs> and uh, 70 Scotch eggs. <laughs> I've never seen that many Scotch eggs gathered. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I don't know what the collective noun is. Yeah. A, uh, a plethora. <laughs> a constipation of <laughs> 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 Do you know why I need to take 17, though? Because that's all you can fit in. <laughs> <laughs> I've been on a train with you, Joe, and it's a, it's a treat. Yeah, it's nice. You're Deceptively a... long legs, I found, when I shared a train with him. Seems yeah. to get everywhere. Can I ask quickly whether you guys are all going on the train? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? 8 out of 10 cats holiday, is it? <laughs> you know, works outings and things, nights yeah. out. <laughs> The Christmas do, we have the Christmas do. <laughs> and there's a summer trip, the summer trip yeah. away. Lunch on Sunday was lovely. Yeah, 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 yeah. it was good. Wasn't it? <laughs> Scrabble Tuesdays. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, curry night. Oh, that's which... tonight. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very, very good way to compliment if you're in a long term relationship is always wake up before your partner or your wife, right? So when she wakes up, you're just staring at her. <laughs> I love that. So she wakes up like that, and then you're just there going. <laughs> did you, did you have a good night's sleep? It's difficult when, when you inherently sound sarcastic. Like if, <laughs> even if I mean it, go, oh, you look nice. I tell you what, no, John, just, just for the sake of art, just genuine. I mean, Rachel, you look lovely this evening, but genuinely, John, look at Rachel in the eyes and tell her she looks nice this evening. Just. <laughs> Genuinely see if you can do it. She's a beautiful woman. Tell her she's a beautiful woman, John. You're very... <laughs> no, John, just take a minute, John. Take a minute. Just focus. <laughs> just tell her, tell her how she thinks... There's so many think women at home that will be quite excited about it. You're a very beautiful lady. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's honestly, you're happy with that. That's the best you could... <laughs> I mean, it's not, the, it's not the sort of arena I'd planned for it to happen in. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'm a whiner, I'm a diner. I, I'm a fucking whiner, I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there not a round on how to compliment a man? I got needs. <laughs> Why don't you look me in the eye and tell me I'm amazing? Well, after I went to see your stand-up show, um, I cleaned my house a bit more. That's the most depressing compliment <laughs> I've ever had. <laughs> To see you do the thing you're good at, you know, then when you show off in front of the women, I went home and I tell you what, I scrubbed that skirting board. Oh. 